Are you aching? Yep, yep. For some bacon? Yep, yep. He's a big pig. Yep, yep. You can be a big pig too. Oi! Ha! The police! Bacon. Oh no! Hey, welcome back to our stupid racks with you and some Corbin. I'm Rick. It's the clown. Twist on. Twist on. Oh, it's so juicy. It can't bring the middle of the bottom of the notification squall. Look what I'm doing to the juicy cop. Bang! Also on personal YouTube channel, links in the description below. He directed a video, it's called All the Wars Fought by India. That not one of them they started, folks. But this is from their inception as India. They don't pick a fight, but they'll finish them. So like from 1947 to the present. Obviously, that India as a whole has been in more wars than that. Yep. And we know, obviously, India has not instigated nope. any wars. Correct. We are aware. Yep. So this is a little informational video, it's just about the ones from 1947. So I'm cool. guessing India, Pakistan, multiple times. Yeah. Uh, and there's been many one with China, yeah. right? And I think it depends China. on what you go through here because there are there are military uh, incursions that have taken place that weren't declared it, wars. It's a specific war. Yeah. So there's you know there's also once again always with these informational videos. If the information is incorrect, it is not, not our, our fault. fault. We did not make it. We were just sent this, and we <laughs> hoping the information is accurate. And if kindly yeah, so. correct kindly the correct us if, if the wrong. information is wrong. Yes. So. I just want to, I always specify that because we always get yelled at. <laughs> it's true. Here we go. India has fought a series of wars with her neighboring countries. Oh, wow, that's a voice note. Today in this video, we are going to discuss Heck all the wars rocket. fought by India in these Tony US. Stark. <laughs> Number six, Indo-Pakistan yep. War of 1947 to 1948. When were they? Forty-seven. The Indo-Pakistani so was, right was fought when... between India and Pakistan over the princely state of Jammu that... and Kashmir. Because of the divide, partition, 1948. The result of the war was inconclusive. However, most neutral assessments agree that India was the victor of the war, as it was able to successfully defend about two thirds of the Kashmir, including Kashmir Valley, Jammu, yeah, and Ladakh. Still, a the inconclusive result of the war yes. still affects the geopolitics of both countries. Territorial changes. UN ceasefire line of 1949 that later becomes line of bunch. control after the Simla Agreement of 1972. Pakistan controls roughly a third of Kashmir, whereas India controls the rest. Kashmir Valley, Jammu, and Ladakh. Casualties and losses. India, oh. 1,100 plus soldiers killed. Pakistan, 6,000 plus soldiers killed. Oh. Number five, Indo-China War of 1962. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Indo-China War right? was China? a war between China and so. India that occurred in 1962. I may I'm wrong. A disputed Himalayan border was the main pretext for war. Is it the same but border as now? Play a, role. a series of violent border incidents occurred after the 1959 oh. Tibetan uprising, when India had granted asylum to the Dalai Lama. The war ended when China declared a ceasefire on 20 November 1962 and simultaneously announced its withdrawal to its claimed line of actual control. The Indochina War was also noted for the non-deployment of the Navy or Air Force by either the Chinese or Indian side. Why would the Navy be deployed? It's in... Result of the war, China <laughs> I'm good. Territorial Why would changes. I, I know. China captures Aksai Chin. Casualties and losses. India, oh. 3,000 plus soldiers killed. China, 700 plus soldiers killed. Number four, Indo-Pakistani War of 1965. Another Pakistan War. The 17-day war caused thousands of casualties on day? both sides and witnessed the largest engagement of armored vehicles and the largest tank battle since World War II. Really? India lost around 540 square kilometers of land, primarily in Rana of Kutch, while Pakistan lost around 1,800 square kilometers. Hostilities between the two countries ended <clears throat> after a United Nations mandated ceasefire was declared. Hmm. Result? Inconclusive. Both sides claim victory. United Nations Is that every war between fight. them? 
no permanent boundary change. Casualties and losses, neutral claims. India, 3,000 plus soldiers killed. 150 plus tanks lost. 60 plus aircraft lost. Pakistan, 3,800 plus soldiers killed. Wow. I didn't realize, no idea, the, the biggest tank battle since the, the, the Great Wars. Nope, didn't know that. I'm sure there's movies about it. Number three, India-China military conflict of 1967. It's just going to be India-China and India-Pakistan. Well, it was not a war, but a conflict. Right. Conflict location. Nathula and Chola on the border between China and Sikkim. Result, Indian victory. China was pushed back from Sikkim. Casualties and losses. Hmm. India, 88 soldiers killed. China, 340 soldiers killed be a long video if this was America. Number two, Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. It just keeps going back and forth. Mm -hmm. During the war, Indian and Pakistani militaries simultaneously clashed on the eastern and western fronts. Pakistan? The war mm -hmm. ended after that the eastern commander yeah. of the Pakistan military oh, signed the instrument part, of partition on 16 December 1971 in Dhaka, marking the formation of East Pakistan as the new nation of Bangladesh. Result, decisive Indian victory. Territorial changes. Eastern Front. Independence of East Pakistan as Bangladesh. Yeah, how do you expect it? Western Front. Mm. <laughs> Indian forces captured around 5,795 square miles of land in the West, but returned it in the 1972 Simla Agreement as a gesture of goodwill. Hmm. Casualties and losses. India, 3,000 plus soldiers Ooh. killed. One naval ship lost. 45 aircraft lost. Pakistan, 9,000 plus soldiers Ooh. killed. 90,000 plus soldiers captured. Seven naval ships lost. 75 aircraft lost. Wow. Had no idea. Number one, Cargill War. The Cargill War, also known as the Cargill Conflict, was an armed conflict between India and Pakistan that took place between May and July 1999 in the Kargil district of Kashmir and elsewhere along the line of control. The cause of the war was the infiltration of Pakistani soldiers disguised as Kashmiri militants into positions on the Indian side of the Yellow Sea. Result, decisive Indian victory. Casualties and losses. India, 520 plus soldiers killed. Pakistan, 1,000 plus soldiers killed. So it was Thanks really, it was really a back and forth. It was just obviously China, Pakistan. Obviously, we've been in this for two years. We know that obviously it's happened a bunch of times in Pakistan. Yeah, but, and obviously more than it lets on because I think it was just going off of strict battles. Right. Obviously, not like the the, the thing Uri was based on. Like Correct. The, the, or other just. Like Incur incursions, incursions that took place, I suppose. yeah, yeah, um, because we know there's been a lot, a lot of those. Of those. Um, but is is that true? Has it only been really India and China? I, guess I mean, so. Pac Pakistan and China. I mean, that's I, typically... well, I guess since the uh, since partition, since partition, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because for the most part, that's just you know they're the neighboring. That's who you usually fight with, is, yeah. yeah. Unless you're you know trying to take over the world, right? Like Hitler, or Stalin, right. or. Somebody like we'll that. Just keep taking over countries. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, when partition happened, what they did was it was the Muslims were pushed yeah. out. So you had. I didn't know it was called East Pakistan. Yeah. I don't know how they expected to keep a piece of land that they'd have to cross India to get to. That yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't so much a geopolitical move as much as it was obviously a cultural and religious one yeah because it was just put the muslims over there and that's what the british decided when they right you know, when yeah when they left they were yeah. just divided by religion because that always works that always helps yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so oh the british yeah which is i had no idea about the biggest like i, I would like to actually learn more because that's something that's the biggest tank battle since world war ii yeah i don't know if we ever came across that because i don't recall ever hearing about the amount of lives lost and the amount of actual military equipment, that many tanks, that many airships. Ships, yeah. That's a lot. That is a lot. And, at, you know, they say all those numbers. I'm sitting here reading those numbers and I'm thinking, 
You know, for the military mind who does do those statistics and consider this to be the victory and that not, and who got the who got the ground and who yeah. didn't, I'm thinking about all of those human beings yeah. who most of them boys or young, you know, like all wars and battles, yeah. just the countless thousands upon thousands yeah. that um, ended their lives in these conflicts. Yeah. Whether right or wrong, obviously these people that died on either side, they're families. Yeah, they have human families. Beings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can obviously critique governments all you want. <laughs> yeah, I've always thought that if there was life on other planets and they came by, the reason that we have sightings and don't have contact is because then when they get here, they're like, hey, what's up? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, they're Yeah, it's okay. They'll kill themselves. Yeah. Uh, and give it give it a thousand years, we'll we'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> when they're all dead. Yeah. And humans. It's uh, it is a it is a thing to be proud of that you can say my nation has never started a war. Oh yeah. Cuz the United States cannot say that. We cannot. <laughs> we started illegal wars. That is correct. <laughs> yeah. It's actually always Now we, our proudest moment is sincerely for sure is is the positions we had to to stop both World War 1 and especially World War 2. But that was those were and we also waited to the very last moment. We sure did. To, Join. We should have. We should have. <laughs> so, should have gotten in a whole lot earlier than we did. Yeah. But hey, what did we care? It wasn't affecting us. That's true. Uh, we are landlocked. Yeah. It's so, actually always funny to me whenever because it happened in in, in Delhi crimes. I don't know if you've seen some of the comments. People when we are critiquing how their police work is done, mm. and they say, "Oh yeah, your police is so like." I'm not saying that our police is perfect. In fact, I'm very critical of our police here. But does it mean I can't critique one and also still be critiquing the other? Right. Yeah, just because like, we like, point out something over here doesn't mean we think we get everything right over here. We're just pointing out, oh, that, I've never seen that. That, I don't, that doesn't fact, make sense. I think a lot of the United States, this, that stuff the United States does is wrong. But it, it, did, it does throw me that you don't cuff somebody when you first catch them. Yeah, it's their... Uh, yeah, it's, it just, it's just interesting to me. Yeah. Uh, but just because we're saying this about India does yeah. not mean we think the United States is perfect. In fact, it is not by any stretch of the imagination. You know what's amazing about that? I don't know if you've seen this before, but, you know, Americans will consistently say we're the land of the free, which we have freedoms that are ex astonishing. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else in the world. I love my country. I don't know about but when you look at the freedom index and the real freedoms... I think that we're, like, we, not even top ten. We're not even in the top ten. Yeah. I think we're 13th. Yeah. <laughs> It's all how you brainwash them. <laughs> they brainwash them early. Yeah, brainwash them early. It's it's legit. That's what happens. That's it's, why we yeah. stand up and say the pledge to the flag every morning. Did you know that at school? That at school you have to stand up and say you have to stand up, put your right hand over your heart, and say, "I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all." Every day of your life in school. Yep. Until you go to college and they don't do it anymore. Yep. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> Wear a cult. <laughs> <laughs>